Here we go, painting the block. And I just taped off where I thought, you know, there's the oil gasket, it's taped off there. And there's the, uh, you know, uh, injection pump gasket. And I just taped off some stuff on the front. There we go. See how that comes out. This side, I've already done several coats and it's dried. So then we'll, uh, that's it. I got the block painted. Let's just peel off all this, uh, let's just peel off all this tape. And, uh, See what it looks like. All right, the block's all uh, painted. Um, let me get the light. Can't see it really well. By the way, these are great. It's one of those magnetic base lights with the flip up lights milwaukee usb charge but uh there we go much better blocks all painted um you know I, I didn't paint where the um gaskets go for the oil or injection pump um also just taped off the gasket area on the front here for the uh, uh, vacuum pump and the uh, front seal retainer and the water pump connection but uh, looks way better now. And uh, now it's time to finally start putting, uh, putting this thing back together. And I'm gonna go ahead and put the piston rings on uh, the pistons. Everything's cleaned up. Uh, here's all the parts from the engine. Everything's been through the wash tank. Looks beautiful. And here we go. Pistons have been cleaned up and got these uh, Mercedes pistons. And in this field service manual, um, in an earlier video, I did the uh, ring gap, groove one, two, and three, and I checked, and it, they were in spec within the cylinder bores with these new rings. The old rings were like 0.70, the new ones were 0.4, um, so they're in spec. So um, if you flip over, here you go, it has the installation. So you got 3A, 3B, and 3C, top, middle, bottom. 3A is the rectangular three millimeter ring. 3B is the two millimeter ring. And 3C is the chamfered oil ring with expanding ring. So, let's see what we got here. All right, so this is the three millimeter, the two millimeter, and the oil ring. Also, the rings, I don't know if you can see this, but you might be able to make it out. There we go. It says top. That's, so, you notice on the underside, there's no, there's no chamfer or radius or bevel, whatever you want to call it, and on the top there is. So that's how that ring that ring goes on the top. So I'm actually going to put the, uh, let's see, I'll put the oil ring on first from the bottom. Let's see if I can turn the, see if it has a top and a bottom. There is no There's no top or bottom for the oil ring. 
and I wonder how this is going to install. So I have my, this is how I took the other rings off. It's an expander, piston ring expander. Um, see if I can do this and hold the camera. All right, this is going to be awkward, but hmm, maybe I can do this. Let's see if I can set this right here. There we go. See how that works? So, it's being interesting to see. Okay, yeah, this can go on from the bottom. And I'm going to have to set this phone down, put it on, and then start the video again. Here's uh, cylinder two. And again, to put this oil ring on, you basically take the ring off of the expander. You'll notice the expander, see if I can do this. All right, see that? It actually can expand and contract. So you have to take it off of here so you can expand it a little bit, like that. And then you put it on. Go down into the right groove. Ah, sorry about the camera angle. Go down into the right groove and then contract. Whoop, it's hard to do with one hand. Then you contract it back. And now once it's contracted back, you can grab this guy and expand it. And you want that little, see that little tang right there? You want it to line up with one of these grooves. There you go, see the groove and the, and the little tang? And you want it to line up where this yellow section is right in the middle of here. So, that would be something like this. The cool thing about this expander tool, it has this set screw here, where once you know how much you have to expand it to get it over the piston, um, you can push the set screw and so it only opens that much. It stops you from like opening it too far, um, which is a cool tool or a cool, cool way to do it. So I'm going to put this one on. I wonder if I can set this down and record it. All right. So got the ring in the expander tool and you just slip it. There we go. Popped right in there. So this one has three rings. And Mercedes in the manual, 38-3165. Step eight, distribute gaps of piston rings uniformly along the circumference of the piston. So uniformly would mean that they all have an equal gap away from each other. So I would assume since there's three, you'd have a gap there a gap there and like here here and here equal distance between them um, so I'll do that before I put them in there all right got all the uh, piston rings new piston rings on the pistons and uh, also as part of the assembly um, this is this is kind of cool I'll show you this uh, this goes on the front of the block and it's for the front uh, crank seal um, there's a U-shape there. Here is the front of the oil pan. So there's where the front crank seal goes. And that little U-shaped block we saw fits over the top. Um, but you, you want to get that aligned right or it's obviously going to leak. So I figured this was an important tool to have. It cost me 80 bucks. I'll probably rent it out to folks for, you know, 20 bucks or whatever plus shipping. Uh, let me open this thing up. I ordered it from uh, MB Parts and it actually had to come from Germany because none of the Mercedes stores in the country had any left. 
let me uh, put the camera down to open this. But all it is, is the shape of the front seal. And you can see, it just fits in there perfectly. Um, but basically, when you put this, uh, I guess, front seal holder, I don't know, front seal assembly, um, when you tighten, when you're bolting it onto the block, you have to get it pressed. See, there's a little gap right there. So if you just press it down against the tool, it makes a perfectly flush concentric circle to the oil pan. That seemed important. Um, I didn't have the dimensions of this or a lathe to be able to just make a, a round disc like that. But uh, let's see, there's the part number, 617-589-001400. Um, but I'll rent this out when I'm done with it. Seems like a really important tool to have. Busted the radiator in the race car this weekend racing in uh, New Orleans. So um, I took the top of the radiator off and tried to actually braze and, you know, braze weld with a map gas and aluminum brazing stick. But the, the cores inside here are so thin. Once they're once something leaks or pops, you can't really fix them. They're not like the old brass radiators. So, fortunately, I had to order a brand new radiator, and that set me back a little bit. But uh, here's the uh, here's where the radiator goes in the race car, and nothing is there. I got all my lines disconnected. But that was the last race of the season, so. I'll be up and running next year. Anyway, enjoy the videos.